Hello. All right. So, let's make sure it's all coming live and stuff. Yeah. All right. Hello and welcome to the Stone Block again. The uh, uh, series I do primarily on Twitch, and I will upload it a couple of days later or something on YouTube as I have the moment. Um, is that a mob down here? I think I see a mob. Must have been a Enderman. But yeah, if you um, would like to come and join me in Twitch, feel free and chat with me. Give me some crazy ideas to do. Um, otherwise, if you liked watching it on YouTube, please like it and subscribe and all that goodness and all that good stuff. And we shall get started with a little bit of music here. Just so it's not in silence. No Minecraft music, pretzel music. Pretzel music's okay. Alright, anyway... What we did last time is we did the immersive engineering. Uh, I've done a little bit of cleanup, uh, nifting up, and all that good stuff. It's not 100% yet because we still need to get the covers and stuff. But I've moved my metal press in here and it is using the dropping conveyor belt. It drops into a chest and gets put in my system and stuff. I originally had three set up, but the gears just don't work well, so I just got rid of it. Um, and we also, I made this automatically pipe in and out. I can pi turn off the piping in if I choose by doing that. Um, I had to make my, what's it called? External storage thing read fluids because I forgot to do that. And I fixed the stone issue. Oh, and I built this. This is the automated engineer's workbench. This will make my hop graphite. Right now it's not, but I can turn this little switch on and it will put in some hop graphite. It looks really cool. I like this machine. It's really fantastic. I'm not sure how much it actually put in there. But yeah, it's the same system in a little hopping conveyor into a chest and it gets piped in and all that good stuff. Uh, other things I did off camera, I was like, I moved this lever to where it's easily accessed. I did some pipe cleanup and I ran a pipe all the way down there. We'll get to that in a minute because that's part of the planty stuff that we're going to deal with. I tested the Pam's Harvest Craft tree. This is a maple sapling. And I cleaned up some stuff. This thing was a mess, and they were 2x2 two two drawers. Now they're 4x4 four four drawers, and we have, uh, in the same storage drawer, we have the the wood, the fireproof version, uh, the leaves, and a place for the saplings. I think only a couple of them are actually complete, quote-unquote. There's acacia. Acacia is complete. Dark oak should be complete. Birch is complete. I think this is missing uh, something, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm going ha to have to still do some more cleaning up. It's just, I'm better off than I was before. As you can see that it stretches from this wall over here all the way to that. I had to move all my plants and stuff over here. We have all the blocks that I will get besides mica and clay. So, we're pretty good. I saw all, all the colors of terracotta that we could ever possibly need. All right. <clears throat> Try not to cough and stuff. For some reason, I'm like in a weird little coughing fit. All right, let's get all my stuff. All my stuff's been put up because I got all this garbage right here in my bag at the moment. All right, cool. So we can put this back up. Get my sword. Also, I had a little incident, and it was kind of annoying to try to correct. Somehow, some way, my sword disappeared. So I had to get it back because I don't know what happened to it. It was in my in in my hot bar one minute, and then gone the next. And it was not laying around anywhere, and it's not in any chest. So, yeah, I got I got it back by opening like a thousand in one of those loot boxes and threw all the other stuff away. So, a lot of stuff was put in the garbage. That was really neat. 
but it was gone. It's gone now. I also moved some stuff around on my shelf. Now, what I plan to do today is we're going to do some Batania stuff mixed with setting up one of every... Na not Nutura. Pam's Harvest Craft. Uh, we have... I went ahead and set this up down here. This is where I will do my living wood and a living uh, rock. This just shows that my refined storage stuff has been pulled here. Let's go kill those stupid witches and that creeper. Because it's annoying. Still haven't fully fixed everything. One day we'll actually fix my mob spawner. There. Thank you. All right, cool. I was like, I was just thinking we haven't done a quest in forever. I don't know why I keep my quest book thing on here. We might do some of this mystical agricultural stuff today. That's part of the plant thing, just to finish it off. But right for now, I'm just gonna sit it right here, out of my way. And I also want to get my pickaxe. All right, the things I'll need to get started on the whole Batania thing that I'm going to do is I need, is it called let's bring up refined storage they're called different things and they're called different things in different mods so uh, we need if I can find it these are all the covers here they are I think the structure and the constructor. I need two of each of these. I think that's the only thing I need it for. I'm going to test something though. And um, see if it works for other stuff. What was I out of? Out of that binder stuff, I think. The glue that holds it all together. I do want to eventually like do one of every uh, Tam's Harvest Craft food, but that involves first what I'm working on here, which is trees and all that garbage. All right, so we need the constructor and the deconstructor. I can't spell. Not today. All right, so we need two of these, and then we need two of these, which needs destruction course. Makes sense, doesn't it? Now, these are a lot better than the alternative. The applied energistic stuff is very weird. I don't like it. All right, so let's get some conduit in case I need it, which I will. Uh, I have one. I need two. I'm going to have to make a living stone. Living rock. Living whatever it is. Whatever that it, that thing's called. Eventually I'll do something with these guys. Right now they're just there. It's like one of the many things. Alright, so first we need to plop this here. And we'll prop this one here. Just so I have a block to place against. So first we need a constructor on each of these. And this one's going to be wood. And this one's going to be stone. And I need to break this one. Actually, let's put the deconstructor here and then I'll break that. So the deal is, between... Applied Energistics does not have this filter uh, in the deconstructor. But I can say, hey, when it becomes living wood, please break it, basically. It's trying to break it all the time. It for some reason was on blacklist. 
So now when it becomes living uh, wood, it should function correctly. What happened to my... There it is. So we need to tell whitelist living rock. So now, as soon as they become their alternative... They go to my system. This is my love. It. This is why I love refined storage compared to uh, applied energistics because it just seems like some of the stuff just works better, and that's one of the things that works better. So now I can just turn this on and have tons of living wood and living uh, rock. Well, until I run out of stuff, I'm just watch them pop and place down. So that's what this little room was made for. Good day! How has your day been? My day has been lovely, I suppose. I don't need to do that. I don't need to have that watch on. I guess it doesn't hurt to have the watch on. Just go ahead and leave the watch on for now. It may lag me. Alright. Another thing I want to do. Where is my... I have it written down. I counted them earlier. One thing I want to do is I won't I need 49 um, I want to take every single one of the Pam's Harvest Craft trees which first I need to buy them been gaming I had to work earlier today so I couldn't game all the day uh, I had, then I, when I got home I had to run some other places so I did this a little bit to clean up uh, stuff, but that's about it. It's been a lovely long day. But, yeah. Game is great. We need to get to the trees. Or has this got the trees in it? Does this have the trees in it? It's got the Natura trees in it. I don't think this is all the trees. It might be. Alright, so we need apple tree. Almond. Oh, this is going to be painful. But it, I'll live. Bananas. Uh, so I just got a banana last one. Cashew. Oh, so that's how it works. I don't need that many. Uh, I need to get the... It's like a shipping crate or something you get. And you sell them for emeralds. <laughs> so I can get rid of these duplicates that I just bought. So I did coconut. So now I need dates. Dragon fruit. I counted 49. Um earlier, but that could be incorrect. I could have missed one or two. I don't know if this even has the paper bark in it. Might. That's orange. Papaya. I'm actually amazed with how many of the forestry tree, like wood, I've gotten. But I've not gotten any of the um, saplings. I think I only got like silver lime or something as a sapling. I think. Was it silver birch? Don't know. Uh, so persimmon. I got two persimmons. Where's the persimmons? Persimmon. Pistachio, plum, pomegranate, starfruit, vanilla. Uh, I have the maple. It's already out there, chilling out. And I think that's all. So that's the basic Minecraft saplings. Which I should have them all. Alright. So let's just toss... Let's just toss them in here. Try to get them all off the ground. 
Okay, so we got them off the ground. Happy New Year to you, too, Jackson. I set off fireworks yesterday. Um, because I have tons of them. I don't know how many I have. I should just have a firework, um... I think you can have something that shoots fireworks off. I should have one of those that shoot off every, like, hour. Just for the heck of it. Because I can. That's something else crazy to do. Alright. So the other thing I need is a whole bunch of bonsai pots. That's going to be fun. I don't know how much clay I have. And I also need dirt as well. I guess my inventory is full. I wish I want grass. I don't want dirt. I want grass. Let's get a chest. Nice, lovely diamond chest. Plop it there. Dump all these in there. Just one of each, preferably. We'll take this one out. And these two out. Alright. There we go. So that should be all of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm only getting thirty-six. I counted forty-nine. How did I count forty-nine and there only be thirty-six? Let's see here. Where's it? Saplings. Oh, they're all like littered in here. And I can't just type sapling. Hmm. I counted that 49 in here. Maybe I counted the vanilla saplings? It's quite possible. That's so bizarre. Maybe they'll be sorted out with Natura and Forestry. So that's Forestry saplings. So here's Minecraft saplings. Here's Evilcraft. I have one of those. Um, and then Extra Utilities. I don't have that. And then starts with Forestry. Industrial craft. Natura. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times. Math. Seven times math. I've been up too long to math. Plus five. I've got forty seven here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, five, six, seven. Seven times six and then five. So I got 47. So something's missing. Okay, so there's date, papaya, and cherry. Date, papaya, and there's cherry. Fig. What's the sursop? I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. Pretty sure I don't have that one. I think that'll be the one thing I probably don't have then. Dragon fruit, I have that one. I want to get one of everything. Because this is my insanity thing. This is like, okay, I'm doing everything to the craziness. Um, let's do the craziness. So we're missing the Sursop or whatever it is. Soursop. Um, Ram, Rambutan. I'm pretty sure I didn't get that one. I don't see any of that color either. Um, jackfruit. I don't have that one. So that's three. Passion fruit. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one either. Apples here. Let's just close the gap. Uh, apple, lemon, I have lemon. 
Maybe those are special trees. It's quite possible those are special trees. There's no telling um, exactly if it's a special tree. I still don't have that chicken. I need to get that chicken. Spider web tree. See, I don't. I didn't get that one. So that's the thing. So some of these things are special, and I don't have them. So it's gonna be fun. I need to find out what these things are special about them. Pomegranate. Cashew, I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure I have cashew. And I know I have vanilla somewhere. This is like double checking everything. So vanilla, uh, star fruit, and banana. I remember the banana. That's this one. That's paper bark. Um, star fruit has a little stars in it. Plum was right here. Avocado. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Avocado, pecan. I remember pecan. Pistachio. Hazelnut. I'm guessing it's just the special ones. As soon as I can find, make, I'm just double checking. Might as well make sure. Did I put the wrong one earlier? Cashew, paper bark, nutmeg, chestnut, cinnamon, maple, persimmon. Almond. Hazelnut. That one that's missing. Hazelnut's missing. Let me write this down. I won't remember that in a second. I'm pretty sure. I know about the weird ones, so but hazelnut, I don't know why it's missing. Alright. Lime is not missing. Peppercorn is there. Hazelnut. I already looked at that one. A paw paw. So almonds, what are these nuts? Gooseberry. Chestnut. Then we have this Paul Paul one. All these weird ones I never knew exactly was there. I didn't have to grow these in um, the other thing. So sour soft is one I don't have. And what was the other one? This ram button or whatever. Ram Bhutan. Ram the button. Jackfruit. Just so I remember. Okay, so we were at chestnut to the pawpaw to the coconut. Which I knew we had. Mango. Is there. Apricot. Is there. Should have just bought them from the other thing. Of course, I've still been missing some. Walnut. A lychee. I know that's not in here. And I can't, I can't tap on my phone. So, lychee. Persimmon. Got it. There's something else. And we have breadfruit and guava. I'm guessing to make uh, the um, breadfruit tree, you probably use bread. Gooseberry peach. Almond, gooseberry, peach, chestnut, the pawpaw, coconut, mango. I already put it down there. Um, apricot, which I'm pretty sure I already have down here somewhere. Uh, 
Yeah, there it is. I skipped a line, I think. Orange, which is here. Okay, walnut, the lychee, persimmon, the guava, breadfruit, nutmeg, durian, tamarind, This is going to be interesting. Um, so tamarind, then we have cinnamon, and then we have maple, and we have paperwork. Okay, so there's some of them. Well, I guess we'll count the hopper things afterwards. We want to do the slimy ones and everything like that, too. Basically, we want to grow one of every sapling. I don't think this one will work. Apparently it does. Apparently you get blood with sticks from it. You don't get the redstone, though. That's pretty sad. Alright, but we need to get grass. And the best way I know to get grass, because we need a lot of grass. Oh, look at all these dudes. We need some chickens. How many is in here? Is it just one? No, oh, there's two. There we go. A boop beep chick. The one I'm missing. It's pretty crazy. It's a green chicken. Because why not? Technically we need two of these. So we can breed them up. That'll be fun. So we need another grass block. I mean, I could get silk touch and go that way or I can make boop beep chickens because that that one's got googlies I need the other I need the I need the stick I don't need the nets I need this one because now I gotta whack you and make you chickens again all right because I got looting as well so that will help immensely so we need some seeds And I need my watch of flowing time. I still haven't made a pedestal, so my I know my thermoelectric generators aren't functioning to the full capacity. Because I still have not um, made the other ones. They're just in my system. Being like, just chilling out there. Like a crazy thing. I need to have, make several and just leave them where I needed to be. Because only I leave one right here. I don't even need these things anymore. Pretty sure I got as many plutonium as I need. I don't remember what I needed it for. What did I need plutonium for? Yeah, I got plutonium. There's something I used it for and I don't remember. Oh, it was for... That's where my thermal generator... I literally was just talking about thermal generators. So, chickens. Breed up, chickens. I need one of y'all at least so I can mass murder you. What do I do with my overclockers? My acceleration sticks of doom. I have these stupid shelves everywhere too, which is fantastic. I just need like one of these guys to murder. And then it can do its thing for a while. Because if I can get at least 50 uh, grass, then we'll be good. Because we have 25 in the system, that means we need a little bit more. Um, I know I'm getting it from the resource miner. I mean, I could do the focus, the laser. But that's its own little thing. Uh, so we're going to steal this old beep boop chicken and replace it with a good beep boop chicken and go I got eight I mean technically I can multiply that <laughs> quite substantially well let me bar some chickens here I think these actually go pretty quickly all considering 
I know I need to replace that one. Alright. So y'all multiply those and we will do it the easy way of multiplying the beep boop chickens. You can always find works around, I'll tell you that much. I needed grass. I have grass. Pretty good. Pretty fantastic. And that's how you get grass. I'm not sure if I have all the fancy chickens. I need to check. Uh, I just dropped my wand on the ground. I need to actually see if I'm missing any chickens. Because I thought I was done. And then I noticed that I didn't have the grass one. So that's going to just take its time. Okay, so we need we need to keep that. We're gonna keep the stack, and then we need the bonsai hoppers. We need a bunch of these, is what we need. So we have twenty there. Um, we need to also get these weird saplings as well. Apparently I don't have hazelnut. Just get the emeralds and see if the hazelnut's in the other thing. There it is. Hazelnut. We'll see in just a minute if it's in there. Because I'm going to shift click it in this chest. Nope. I didn't have hazelnut. Alright, so hazelnut's off. So we need the the pawpaw that takes different things. Apparently it's also in the market. But it's not in that market. Okay. So there's that one. I wish my phone would quit timing out. I should have typed it on notepad. And now we have the sour sop. Which is also in this market. And it kind of looks like one of the nuts. That's sit right here. Okay, the next one is the jackfruit. So it should also be in the market. It is. So we're looking for... That's a spider web one. That's a spider web one. We need that one. Papaya. Rambutan. We needed. Jackfruit. Um, so now we need the lychee, the guava, breadfruit, and tamarind. Let's see what they look like. The lychee is red. Wow, is it red. Guava. Is this one. Breadfruit. Is green as well. This breadfruit literally right next to it. All I had to do is click and I would have had it. And then tamarind should be green too. It's like a brownish color. Alright, so that should be that's all the saplings from Pam's Harpist Craft. Uh, apparently. Apparently, that's all of them. And we have a grand total. I counted 47 a minute ago. Not sure if that's right. So we have one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve times three plus three, six, nine, ten. 
that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Apparently we're missing one. But we're not going to worry about it. I'll have to hunt through it. I'll hunt for that later. I'll double check everything as we go along. Alright, so we need to get all these hoppering things. So we need a lot of clay. Actually, we just need bricks. I'm pretty sure a way I can do it. Well, apparently I can't do it. I can do it in the heart furnace. Can't I? No, you it's grinding it. Apparently I cannot use the philosopher's stone to quickly craft it. That's highly disappointing. So let's get a lot of clay. And I do believe... I'm debating on if I want to do this in the overworld or if I want to do it like in one of those cubes. I think it'd be cool in one of those cubes because I don't know how lagtastic the bonsai trees will be once they're all up and running. But they might be a little bit crazy. I'm not sure. But right now we have, so there's our grass, there's one plant pot, so bonsai tree pots, so we need the hopping bonsais, apparently we don't have any hoppers, so there's 20. Alright, so. I do believe I want to put it in one of those cubes. So let us get a bag. I have this uh, ender bag, ender satchel. That way I can put some of this stuff in. We also need chests. Now, I guess I'm going to do ender chests. But we will maybe like, want lime wool. I think lime will be good for the ender chests. Because I want to make sure. Apparently, I don't have any chests either. I put my I put my pick up. I want to make sure that there is enough space inside the the wall um, as possible. So we have 64 of these things. They should be empty. They are indeed. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that color. And I forgot that I have my pickaxe on hyperspeed. Okay. So now we're good. So we'll gather up these things. As many of them as I can fit in my bag and put them in this bag. They're not going to be in any particular order when I place them. Alright, so now we need the miniaturization thing. Because I know some of these don't have anything in it. So I think this one's unused. This is unused. Okay, so, oops, this is what we're going to do. I think we had to have a two wide gap, uh, but we're going to do both walls first and see where we go from there. So we need the hoppers. And what's crazy is I have another idea of plants I want to start. I want to make those garden cloches from immersive engineering to carry along with the immersive engineering stuff. And we... I want to be able to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Grow this stuff for a diesel generator. And that's the crazy thing. It's, that's another power, power plant. So we're going to actually be powered by plants. Plant oil and stuff like that. It's plant oil and what's the other called? Ethanol. 
Um, you can get them from certain plants. Of course, obviously, we need a imaginary time uh, thing there. Not imaginary time block. That's the wrong mod. The watch of flowing time. We want to have it. Alright, so let's put that here. The deal is I want to grow one of every plant, like literally. Slimy saplings, we want to grow them. Every single plant will be grown in this place. Well, this is the tree pod, should I say. Why did it suddenly get really dark in this corner? That's so bizarre. I guess it's something to do with the plants? Really strange. I figured these might or might not lack. I love that this is an extreme hills biome. I don't know why this is an extreme hills biome, but it is. It's like it took me all that time to uh, get all the saplings, and it's taking me like literally two seconds to <laughs> plant them all. Okay, so now we need some more. Um, bonsai pots. But they're all growing. We should... Whoa, that, that all up and together is really loud. They should be starting some fruit. It might take some time. And all that grand stuff. So let's go get some more bonsai pots. And we make this next layer above it. If I had all the forestry trees too, that would be fantastic. I'm not sure if they work there though. That's something yet to be seen. I can test it though. We can go test it real quick. Let's go see if I got one forestry sapling. Um, there's Natura ones. I have the yes, I have this one. I have the tile dot four dot sapling underscore g dot name. Maybe all I have is Natura. Actually, I have the amaranth one, but that's Natura, isn't it? I actually like Natura wood. We have, this is Natura. I have, this is something else. This is Natura. We have this thing. The Evil Craft Undead Saplings. We'll have to test that one as well. I guess I don't have a single sapling from Forestry. I have the Apple Oak, actually. Where's it at? Is it? Apple Oak Forestry. Okay, we're going to test the Apple Oak saplings. Maybe because it's oak. We'll try it and see. So, we need... These things. And these things. And so now we need the bonsai pots again. Even if I make too many of them, I'm not going to be upset. Because I don't know how many I'll actually end up needing in the long run. Alright. But that'll get me a good start. And before I get in there, uh, this is my test chest. Forestry trees. Looks like it's working. It looks like a forestry tree. Now, does it give me the apples like it's supposed to? That was weird glitch. Um, goodness. It's an apple. <laughs> That's a bad test, but it looked like a forestry tree. So, maybe it's fine. Let's try the Natura trees while I'm at it. And I don't have any more saplings. I have apple oak. That's regular oak. Be nice to get the lemons and stuff like that. It's acacia, coca logobo, the chocobo plant, and Natura. This was Natura, wasn't it? Okay, 
so let's see. If it breaks. And then it's your tree. Looks like it works. We'll have to see in a second. I think it's an amaranth tree. It's really hard to see. Yeah, that's an amaranth tree. It looks so funny. This looks like a, this is the weirdest tree <laughs> in the bonsai plot. That's so weird. Yeah, it works. And Natura works as well. I mean they don't they're not they're not fruiting trees, so uh, let's go get a sign and mark this as tree haven. Okay, there's something about this that I don't like this song. I don't know what that what what it was about that song, but I didn't like it. So this is tree haven. We're even gonna call it that. We'll have to have plant haven. No, I think the plants will uh, be just fine uh, in a field. The regular plants. Um, so we don't need the apple oak at the moment. What's the difference between this one? I don't. I don't know what the difference between this and this. Now, the deal is the reason I'm using dirt as opposed to wood, uh, not wood, I mean, the reason I'm using dirt as opposed to, I mean, grass instead of dirt is because the output ratio is apparently higher. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. That's fantastic. Apparently, there is a difference, and I didn't know it. Alright, so let's do line number two. I think if I skip two places, it should be fine. I think it takes one and a half blocks for them to grow. I think I found that out for the ones that I have already. We're getting just a few items in here at this point. Such a weird sound. And we want to keep one of these for myself. So, star fruit, apparently. This is fun. This is actually a fun thing. I know this is kind of like one of those crazy things, but it's kind of the point of what I've been doing. As I said, we'll probably try to do some quests. Like, we'll try to do the mystical agriculture stuff, just so we can actually open a loot chest, legitimately. <laughs> Since I lost my sword for no reason. I don't know how that happened. I still don't know how that happened. Um, and we had to get it back. There's really not much in those things that I found out quite heavily. We haven't done actual quests in forever. I've been having too much fun doing the random monotony. It feels like so long ago that I actually completed the chickens as well. Alright, so banana. There. Okay. So that's one of every... Oh, look, this is the spiderweb one. It grows spiderwebs. Makes no sense. But... Okay. If you say so. So we have some room so we can plant the vanilla saplings, dark oak, and all that good stuff. We actually have a spot for that. They're all down there in the base. They're not voided yet, though. And the fruit... The fruit... I 
Gis can go in here. Because it's 40 something. And there's four in each one of those. So if we have 10 of those, yeah, the fruit will be fine. And then we have the vegetables in the same area. So that's my plants. So that's going to be kind of weird, but that's fine. All right. We'll have to move that glass. So let's actually start doing that, actually. Uh, let's get the key, remove the glass. And we can start dealing with the fruity. I may use this glass for something. I haven't decided yet. Alright. So. Obviously most of them do normal wood. Or jungle. Or dark oak. Or whatnot. It's the fruit that's important. Okay. So we have papayas. Apricots. Oranges. Uh, apples already has a spot. It's over here. The mangoes look very weird. Pecans. Olives. Pears. Peaches. The tree things. Dragon fruit. This is going to be a fun mess to deal with. Um... We already have apricots. We don't have figs yet. Apples we have over here. Avocado, jackfruit, another nut. What is this? Grapefruit. Bananas! That's weird looking. Never actually heard of that, so that's a new new thing to me. Uh, guava. I've heard of that. I've heard of guava before, and I've heard of tamarind before. But this ram rambutan stuff, I've never actually heard of before. I have to look it up to see exactly what it is. Just out of curiosity. Uh, of course, we're going to get saplings. What to do with the saplings? That's the problem. I don't know what to do about the sa saplings. Saplings will be a problem. Looks like string comes with spider tree. Almond, pomegranate, pistachio is a nut. I don't like nuts. I really don't. I'm not allergic to them or nothing. I just don't. I don't like them. I'll eat pecans all day. But not nuts. Dragon fruit. Um, did I have a plum? I had cherry. I put the key up. I need to get the key anyway. It's really loud in my ears. Alright, so maple syrup. I'm surprised I didn't make a spot for it, but I haven't. So let's get the cherries out of here because I already had them somewhere. Did I have dragon fruit as well? Yes, I did. I had both of these. Alright, now the saplings. Oh, look at all these. It's, it's grown up again. 
What can I do with saplings? In here, I guess? We need to dump all this stuff, I guess. So anytime I get a sapling, I'll shove them in here and I'll have to figure out what I want to do with them. Okay. Maybe on that level, with all the trees, we'll do the trees. I just know I haven't gotten them all yet. That's the thing. I just know that there's some that's missing. So there's star fruit. I didn't have it. Alright. We'll have plenty of sticks after this. I know that much. Alright, so let's put all these here. Fruit, 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 a fruit, a fruit, and a fruit. They changed what the coconuts look like. It's pretty fantastic, actually. And a durian. And where's the key at? I do believe that's all of them now. That's all the fruits and oh, tree produce, I should say. Some of their nuts, they don't really count. So I'm pretty sure if I do this, it will have a spot for everything but the saplings. So we have paper up there. We have string. So we're actually producing paper, which is pretty nifty on its own little wrap. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure, we want to get the item translocator thing. Oh goodness. So autumn translocator. We need glowstone, redstone. And I think it's right here. Oh yeah, I left it open. Okay. So we want to get a green one. So this, to this, to this, to this. And anything that actually has a home, put in here, aside from saplings. There we go. So, just the saplings don't have homes. It's pretty good, actually, if you think about it. We probably have one of every sapling again. But where do I want to put them? <laughs> hmm. If they're going to take up as much space as that, so it's going to take up 2 plus 3. And I've got to do all the vegetables and all their seeds. I got an idea. I need some more of those 4 by 4s um, I have to go up to the level with a computer. I need to run a monitor or grid down there. That way I can access them. And we need... Oh, I need... The key. Which I should have. Alright. And we need my axe. I made and one of those stupid... Inori crystals? This is a garbage axe. Hmm. <laughs> I'll do it here. I'll have to remember to get the void upgrades as well. It 
it'll take me some time to clear this thing completely out, but that's fine. We'll just get some down for the moment so we can put the saplings in a in a drawer. And look, it's automatically doing it. Whoops. I'm flying, so that's why it's not breaking. Look at that. All them saplings. So I just got a little cubby. Just to shove saplings away. Where am I going? I need glowstone. But glowstone is very easy to come by. Oh, that's the other one. <laughs> so confused. Back room completely lit. Alright, so now I should be able to place these saplings, and if I get any more, we should have a home for them. Just gonna make sure that they didn't any pop in there. They did. Fancy. It's a nice little cubby hole for all the tree saplings. And we'll need to void them out. So we get some void upgrades on the craft. I don't know if I made a pattern for it, but I might have. We have some already. We can craft just a bunch more because I need a ton of these. Uh, I'm missing obsidian? It's weird. Takes a lot of obsidian for those things. Alright, but at least get these right here voided out. That way they are not affected in my system. They will not affect my system. I need to do the same thing downstairs, but I can do it off camera. Right now we're just trying to get the saplings to sapling up. And once they all are in here, we can lock them all. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and lock them now. I'll just have to manually man this thing. We'll just leave access to it. Okay, apparently I have an olive sapling in my inventory. I need to home. There we go. So those are all good. Um... So that's our tree madness. We still have to deal with the other saplings. And we need to do with all the plants and stuff. But, yeah. So these are good. We have one, two, three. So we're missing several saplings. I don't know if all of them drop saplings though, so that's the thing. Uh, the spider one might not drop, drop saplings, and the spider web, whatever it's called, it might not drop, and the other ones, the paper bark might not drop, and the cinnamon might not drop, but it's fine. That thing just keeps glitching out on me. My dashboard. It's not doing anything, but it's fun. It like flickers like it's not on. For a moment. But I know it has been. K 
keep getting distracted. Oh, it was like, ooh, a shiny. All right, so. Besides this, which we will also need to avoid these if we want to do like natura trees and stuff. Which I'd like to do natura trees. So I guess that would be the next thing on the list is natura trees. Which includes hop seed, um, maple, amaranth. Just trying to think of all the ones we actually have. We have all the nether ones, uh, ghost wood, but you don't actually have saplings for it. So we have to get all those, which is pretty neat. Let's go ahead and avoid some of these because I know I'm going to be dealing with some of this stuff very soon. And if I know it's going to be putting stuff in here, I'd rather just all be voided out and be done with it. All right. So we need. Apparently, we don't have hop seed saplings yet. Pretty sure you can't get it either. Um, these are the ones we don't have in anywhere. I thought I had a maple sapling. This is a Natura one. Speaking of Natura, Tiger Woods Natura. All right. Oh, look, there's some more saplings here. So now we need, as I said, now we need the Natura trees. This is not Natura. This is, or is this a Natura sapling? Natura. So this is the wrong willow. Oops. Alright. So I need these, I need this, and I need this. We have Silver Bell. The nether trees. We need to do the vanilla ones too. We don't have fuse wood either. Let's just wait. Let's get the vanilla ones and then we'll do the nether ones later. This is the maple though. Where's the maple at? Here it is. Okay. So we'll do the vanilla ones first. Because I know we have all the vanilla saplings. We also have mineral we can move. Uh, the different slimies. This is the purple one down here. Blue, purple, and ma magma. And I need three slimy dirts, which I think I'm pretty sure I have. And we can break down our old system right here. I guess they take axes? They do. I like breaking everything with my pickaxe. That's what I get for powering it up. Alright, so we don't need these anymore. But we do need slimy dirt. Conveniently, we have one of each color. do it this way for the fun of it for the fun of it um, lime chests lime chests uh, the bonsai and all that good stuff then we need to go up to tree haven and we can plant the tree haven trees Vanilla trees. Alright, so vanilla normal. Okay. So we have birch. That's hazelnut. 
The fur... Which one's just growing weird? Why is it invisible? Apparently that one's invisible. Okay. Cool. So there's those growing. For some reason, hazelnut's invisible. But I can live with that. I want to leave two gaps away from the wall. And we're going to do a line here. Grass, mineral tree, the three slimies. We have blue, green, magma. It's the blue, the magma, and the purple. So there's those trees growing up. Um, I was like, is this one invisible? It just takes forever. I think this one just takes forever. I think this slimy dirt grows up faster. Why is this not working? Something is clogging that chest. Let's go micromanage it. After everything loads. I just kept walking even though I was lagging. It's always great. Well, it's clogging. Saplings? Alright, they need to do the same thing downstairs. You can get a green chest and translocators for downstairs as well. Autumn right, translocators, two redstones, and two glowstones. Once everything's set, I don't have to do this. I can do it another way. Right here. We can put it... There. So now anything like oak saplings and things like that will go into these chests. And anything that don't fit will overflow. Well, apparently I don't have that in a spot. I'll sort this later, but right now I'm just doing it for the other pieces. I should really mark it for the other saplings, but that's fine. Apparently I have a lot of saplings that don't have homes. Things that don't have homes. A whole bunch of homeless saplings. Not to be homeless too much longer. Okay. No longer homeless. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. So, we have our slimy stuff. Turn this off for a moment because it's just it's just punching things. These things right here in the wrong place. Just clogging that. I don't like it. We don't have this slime here. Oh, because it's dropping them. So we need compacting boards. We can move it down here though, because we have these. So we need to move, this, move these down there. So that's something to take care of. But I can, I'm can i going to do some organization. Make sure things aren't duplicated. Because I know there's slimy leaves up here. they got to get moved uh, in a better spot. And sugar canes over here when it should be down with the plant stuff. Um, it's just slight organizations that need to be happening. That's not happening. Uh, the glass and the panes can be in one drawer together when he's half drawers. So... Yeah, I gotta I got do some organizing. But I'm not gonna... There's like black quartz up here and the black quartz way down here somewhere, I think. Oh no, it's black quartz... Pe the ores up down there. 
Alright, that's fine. So, uh, now... So we've done trees. So, I'm gonna let that- I'm gonna have to do some organization and stuff on that. So we have all the Pam's Harvest Craft trees growing. We have our slimy sapling and all our vanilla trees are growing. And we have the mineral tree growing. So that'll give the, all the mineral pieces. Every single one of those open simultaneous. That's kind of creepy though. Look at this. I wish you could see it. They all open. It's really creepy. A lot of opening chests. He's doing the flickering thing again. I wonder if my internet connection is being kind of spotty. Not possible. I don't think it is. I just know it's flickering. Apparently, according to my OBS, there's been a drop frames of 76. I don't know. Just trying to see what's going on with it, but I don't see anything uh, weird about it. Alright, so we I can literally just place these without the chest being there. That's pretty fantastic. That way I don't have to worry about them. So it's on this level. Okay, so those will be my Nutura trees. We might get forestry trees eventually, and we can start growing that wood too. But we'll have to see if it gives me saplings, which I'm not sure if the botanical manor will give me the saplings. Uh, let's see, the usage of it. it gives me wood. I know it gives me vanilla saplings. The dead juniper, for, dead first juniper, and we have the towel dot four dot sapling underscore g dot name. That gives me the natura trees. Looks like, yeah, it gives me the natura trees, and then it gives me leaves. So there's no saplings. I'm guessing from forestry, flowers. Beets. I haven't got beets. I haven't got coarse fruit either. Of course, that might be a higher tier. Yeah. So, no... Um, no forestry trees. So, we won't be able to grow forestry trees. Unless I do bees and get the trees. I think... I don't think there's any other way to get the forestry trees. Um, so, let's try ebony wood or ebony sapling. The only way to get it is from tree breeding. So that's highly unlikely. We'll just have to deal with just having the wood. There's still things I can do in here, I guess. As I said, all the natura trees. So that may be all the trees we need. But we might be able to utilize this top space for something else. But for now, there's tree haven. Alright. So now, on to stage two of plants. So we've done the plants part. Now we're going to move on to plants part. Which is going to be the garden cloches. And we probably won't... I don't know. How many of these do I probably want? Maybe like ten for each, I'm guessing? So we're going to make these vacuum tubes. Which I have to have the components thing. There it is. I need this one. Alright, and I need then a nickel plate. So let's get nickel. And let's go ahead and make a pattern for it when we work on it. Conveniently, I have a plate masher. I always forget which one's which. This is the other thing. So this is my plate masher. Okay. 
Gimme, gimme. There we go. Can't make a pattern without the plate. I mean, it would have gone around my system, but it would have been a little delay. So that equals that. So now we can make nickel plates for days. And I've noticed, which is unfortunate, uh, that was the actual pattern, right? Yeah. That the sound muffler, I don't think works on that. I figured it would reach, but it's not. If it does. Alright, so nickel plates. That's all we need. That's all we need right now. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need? I just know I need nickel for the vacuum tubes. Um, I could make another automated work pinch, but I'm not going to do it. We need redstone copper wires, which we should have tons of, because I think I made some. No, yeah, we have tons of it. And we need nickel plates. We have 14 for now. That'll be good. And we need redstone and glass, it said. These aren't something I need to automate, though. Not really, because now I have 42 of them. Alright, so now we can make, um, apparently we don't have many tree wood? We never did the liquid crafter, did we? Uh, so let's talk about making a fluid crafter. We never did get the plastic, so let's see about getting some a fluid crafter so we can see about making that wood. So we need plastic. So we need the latex machine. We need this machine, the latex processing machine, which needs some furnaces. So there's this machine. And then I need the extractor. I don't remember what it's called. It's called dry rubber, is what it is. I know what it is. Tiny dry rubber from dry rubber. So this stuff comes from the latex processing unit. What's it called? I forgot the name of it. It was a smart again. Um, industrial foregoing. Block breaker, block placing, mob detector, resource resource fisher. That's something I haven't done. Metal, energy field projector, wither builder, fluid pump, planter director. It was hiding half the machine. A fermenter, fluid sieving machine. But why? A dye machine. Tree fluid extractor. I was like, I'm going to get this thing somewhere. Alright, we need the constructor again. I need the constructor. So, in a log... Now we're going to get so many other types of wood now. We need this. I'm going to put them on down here, I guess. So... There. So we need to put a log here. This is the constructor. 
that will construct blocks forever. And then we have um, the, that's the latex processing. So I'll make the other thing. Tree fluid extractor. Apparently I did not actually even make it. facing the right way. No, it is not. Now it's facing the right way. So now we're getting latex that should from the back. I'm gonna have to get a pipe, actually. Yeah. Gonna have to pipe it out. So I need to just do it from the conduit style. It's fine. So we need a conduit. And we need, not item conduits, fluid conduits. And we also need a reservoir. Because why not? I'm gonna have so many of them. I guess you don't have any quartz. That's why I need the bigger one. So we need to make the liquid pipe into there. So extract always and insert. So this is getting the latex. It's pretty fantastic. Now we need water. And for water, we need quartz. I'd ask myself, what are we doing this for? Because it's been a long time. We were making something. I know we were making the garden cloches. I was, oh, I was making the fluid crafter. I was like, there's, one re there's a reason I'm doing this, and I'm not crazy. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Why is the machine so slow? There. That's how you fix the alloy smelter. You need fused quartz? Speed it up. I needed one for... Where's my fluid ducts? There they are. I need one for Britannia too, that's why I made another one. Let's put it in there for now. So we want to put it here, I'm guessing, in the floor. Water. I need a bucket. Apparently, I got three by accident. Okay, so now it's getting water. So we're making tiny dry rubber. Tiny clap. 
Alright, so that stuff then has to be crafted, I think, into the dry rubber and then dealt with. So we want to just import it, I guess, into a spot in the system. Can I compacting drawer this? That is always the most ultimate question I can ask is, does it compact drawer? That's all I needed to know. Okay. I'll clear that drawer later. For now, we need enough to make like four plastic. So we need to speed this thing up. We need lots and lots of latex. Once this thing starts running, it's fine. It's just so slow. It's a slow little monster. So we need... I said I need four. We're at um, three... And that should be four. Okay, and this you smelt into its plastic form. So we'll want to have it auto crafted eventually into its this form and then store it away. We'll put it here with snowballs. Or we have it automatically smelted into plastic. I don't know if we need the rubber itself for anything. There it goes flickering again. Alright. So is this used for anything besides that? Smelting. No, we'll have it smelted into plastic. So we'll just automatically smelt it into plastic. That'll be the best bet. And we're doing all this for a fluid crafter. You have to think. This is a roundabout way to get a fluid crafter. So fluid crafter. So we're after this. And we don't know if this will work. That's the thing. It's like we're making this, but will it work? It's the mystery of the year. Apparently we're out of everything. Need a crafting table. Have a crafting table. So fluid crafter again, and we need the gear, which is a gold gear. It's fine. Use whatever, and we should have the fluid crafter. Now let's see if this does what I want it to. We're gonna plop it here, and we should be able to. I'm guessing if I put a bucket there? Can I put a bucket there? Or how does this work? I know I need to pipe in. Or let's just grab. Let's grab some creosote or some bottles. So let's grab some creosote. And we need wood. Uh, plank. Oh, that's not in there. The planks are not um... Did I have a thing to do it? Oh no, because it needs to. Alright, so. We have creosote. A creosote bucket. And we need it to go around it. I guess I need to tell it that it needs to be creosote in the center. Let's go see. All 
Okay, so that works. Okay, so now if I get this creosote... Okay, so you had to lock it to say, hey, by the way, I want wood to go into it. So now, now it works. So we need a fluid exporter and an item exporter. So we need a fluid exporter. So we need some, some construction cores. I'm not sure how that will function. Why am I always out of improved processors? I can tell the system to make it. So, exporter and hashtag refund. So there is a cable exporter external structure. So maybe the fluid is just like the external thing and it's in here somewhere. So we'll put it there and see if we can say fluid and we want creosote. Okay, so creosote is being piped in. And then we want wood and we want to put a limit on this or we want to have a crafter so that's what we want to do we want to take all the wood out of here and let's get a crafting unit and see if it works with that mod all for garden cloches <laughs> okay so we need uh, a processing thing for eight wood so 64 so we need it to say eight and we need this to say eight eight equals eight Donduit. Self aware of my mistyping. Oh, I haven't been here. <laughs> I'm self aware of my mistype. So let's see. If this works, it's power now fantastically. So now let's see if I can make treated wood by crafting it. It's saying it works. Okay, so it doesn't distribute it correctly. So I would have to... Let's see. Maybe I need to tell it a different way. Okay, so we need to clear this. Okay. So this is going to be eight. And then we need wood. And we're gonna see oak. And we're gonna see if it reg registers this. We're gonna see if that fixes it. It might, it might not. So now it's the same 
recipe amount, but it's different. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to have to do... To get this thing to process, I'm just going to have to do an export because it doesn't work. We'll just have to do like I did the hop graphite and the coke, uh, coal for the coal coke, and just put a lever on it. It's just not gonna work like I want it to. And it's gonna be wood, and it's gonna have an on-off switch. And right now it's off, and now it'll be on. And we just stack upgrade. I also need a crafting card. So one crafting card, a stack upgrade, and two speeds. A stack upgrade and two speed. And I'll have to have an importer as well. But that can wait. Like I kind of just want to make it work now. Okay, so it shouldn't. It should go in by stack, and it should come out in stacks as well. See, now it's making treated wood. So we have effectively auto crafted treated wood, utilizing the liquid that's in the system. Actually, it's working fantastically. All so we can make garden cloches. If we, needed, we wanted ten for each, I think it was. Oh, I'm missing something. Okay, fantastic. Now these little things, let me just set one down. They look cool. They're awesome. They're fantastic. There's, I think they need water. Um, they need soil, I think. And yeah, they need soil. So let's do this. So let's get dirt. Uh, let's try, we want to have watermelon. Apparently I don't have a melon. I mean, that's a lie, but we don't have one in the system, it says. Okay, there's some seeds. And what's the best thing for sugarcane? Okay, so we're trying to get seed oil. So to get seed oil, Not that. Let's see. We're trying to make diesel fuel. So at immersive. Because we're doing the diesel engine. So this is plants. We're in plants here. We still have another plants. We gotta do the ingots and stuff. So we're trying to get diesel. Biodiesel is what we're trying to get. We need plant oil and we need ethanol to make 16. So plant oil comes from utilizing the squeezer that we have to get some oil. So the best that I see is hemp seeds, looks like. So if we get some hemp, which we actually have, we should actually have hemp seeds in there. Yeah, we have hemp seeds. All right, so if we get some hemp seeds, and obviously you have to grow them on dirt, See, it's actually planted in there. Fantastically. But it needs water and power, and it will supercharge the seeds. We'll just want to trash the hemp itself. But for now, let us go and start setting this up inside of... Let's label it, too, while we're in here. So 
So we're going to call this little energy source plant power. We haven't even technically started Batania either. That's kind of crazy. I started it, but I didn't start it, start it. Oh, we didn't actually label it plant power. Um, so we need the garden cloches. So let's see. There's like a water out input on the back. So we're going to go... How wide is this? 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to leave enough room for the diesel generator. I have to get some fluid pipes and some water. That reservoir I made for Batania? Yeah, about that. Okay, there's actually an output on the bottom, too. I think I flickered again. Yeah, it flickered again on me. So we need grass. Or dirt. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters on this one. It matters on the other one, but it didn't matter on this one. Ooh, it turned red. Yeah, I may have to turn it off in a little bit. Apparently my thing is flickering like crazy. I don't know how it actually appears actually on the stream. So I have a di I have a display, but it's kind of not really noticeable for me. All right, so we need a uh, reservoir. Well, I thought I made two of them. Where did I put it? That's fine. I have more. Am I blind? Oh well, I need this. We also need fluid pipes, which we have in our inventory. And we also need um, conduits, energy conduits. And we need a flux point. So we, not, not, we might not get to the third iterations of plants, because this has been... So we wanted to do a little bit more Tanya stuff. Uh, this is going to be plant power. Update. There. That's a little face. Alright. Oh, I get, I get two buckets of water, too. I don't know where I want to put it. I guess right here? We'll break this one. We'll break this. And this will be the water point. Okay, so there's my infinite water. And so let's do all 
those. And we're gonna do the same thing with power. Oops, I'm shifting. I don't know why I'm running it to the back. I know it doesn't work that way. Powers in from the top. All right, so we need to run the power cables here. So now it should be hooked up. Okay, so the water should be in inserting into these as soon as I extract always from here. This is always extract, so that means that everything should be filling it with water. Always extract, so everything should be filling it with water. Slowly but surely, everything should be getting water. But that's fine. It'll take it a little bit. So now we need to insert dirt into every single one of these as the soil. We also need to power everything. We'll have to get the squeezer and... I have to make another squeezer? Why am I have extra ones, it seems like. That one doesn't have one. I feel like two of these don't have them. So that one has one, that one has one, that one has one. Yes, yes, yes. That's a bucket. Yes, 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 and no. Okay. Like, I should have exactly enough. It's like soil, no soil. And I have no idea if these are affected by the other thing, but that'd be crazy because these things are pretty quick, quick as it is. All right, so soil has been planted. We have seeds. We only have a few melon seeds, but. We just need the melons off of them anyway. So we need hemp seeds. So it should be growing. Industrial hemp. Same thing here. 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 Oh, there's no power to them yet. So they're actually not growing. So all the hemp's planted. The melons will be up there. So let's put power to this thing. So now these things should be growing. Are oh, they not connected correctly? I oh, don't tell me that's not the PowerPoint. It has to be the PowerPoint. These are powered. These are powered. 
No RF, it says. Oh, there it goes. It's a graphical glitch, I guess. I guess it doesn't have enough water at the moment. I need to get the um, speed upgrades on those. Not that. I need to get the Ender IO speed upgrades. Don't know if I can um, make them. Maybe I should have used some type of other fluid conduits. At Ender, and we're looking for the speed things. Auto filter, power atom filter. Limited. Here it is. Extract speed upgrade. Oh, I got tons of stuff for that. Okay. 46 it is. I haven't got rid of that little tree yet either. Extract always. Yeah, it is. Is it broken? It's like the thing is broken. I had to fix it. That'd be something I had to fix. So it looks like it's not um get water source then. There's a condensating thing. Wooden crucible, smelting ice, takes forever. Bottler, magma crucible, snowballs. Infinite water. That's what I need. Hmm. Well, this is kind of a downer. I don't know why that's not working. It works for everything else. Maybe because there's two outputs? Is that why? Is it because there's two extracts and it's broken it? So let's turn this one off. Let's go ahead and turn this one off and see if it... Um, Refill. See, it's broken it. That's so bizarre. There's no reason it shouldn't shouldn't work. I've used those I uh, reservoirs forever. Here it goes flickering again. Yeah, I may have to end it early in a little bit. I was gonna play a little bit longer, but if it, if my thing keeps flickering, I may have to stop. I don't want it to just crash out. But if I do crash out, it's because my, for some reason it's flickering. I don't know why. It's weird. Okay, now that it's actually turned into infinite source. Let's 
so bizarre. And it won't infinite again. I'm so confused at this thing. I've never had a reservoir break before. I guess it's a first time for everything. Okay, so now it's got water in it. And let's extract it from here. And it works. That's just so weird. I don't know why it would have any say in it to be different here than on the bottom. Okay, well, whatever it, whatever it needs, man. Whatever it needs. As long as these things get filled up and they're functional. So now they're getting water. So these things should grow industrial hemp. Maybe they need dirt. Where's my book? I know these work in here. They're supposed to work in here. Anything's supposed to work in there. I'm not sure about trees, though. Okay. You want books over here? Yeah. Okay. The vast, ha the vast design to hasten growth. Okay. The GUI features slots for soil and seed in the middle, fertilizer on the left, and outputs on the right. The hatch on the front of the glass dome is the only output. Every seed needs to be paired with a correct soil to grow on. Maybe it's because I don't have an output. So we need to have, let's see, we want drawers, I'm guessing. Um, because we need one for seeds, and we need one, we need a compacting drawer for the melons. And we need the seeds and stuff for this. So, let's go place that. We also need item conduits, which I don't have. We need to get basic mana generating flowers, too, in Batania, I would like to do. Now, how am I going to do that, exactly? Because day blooms shouldn't work? I think they have to see the sky, don't they? I don't remember. Um, so, each one of these are outputs. I know that. So, let's do this. And let's make sure they set to extract. Always. I hate that the default is a no. There should be a way to set them to where their default is not no, but they are always no, which is disappointing. I'd rather have to change them to say, to say no than say yes. Obviously I want it to extract. Oh crap, that's not the right way. Okay, so these things should work. Why you know work? Does it not like dirt? I think it might not like dirt. May have to read up on it. For soil and seed in the middle, fertilizer on the left, outputs on the right. The hatch on the front is the glass dome. It's the automatic output. Every seed needs to be paired with a correct soil to grow on. So, let's see. Uh, hemp seeds... And we can put them. I'm guessing just soil. Obviously, cactus has to have sand. Let's just try dirt. Maybe that's what my problem is. is I have grass. And if I need a silk touch farmland, I'll do that. Uh, just dirt. We still got a little bit to do more on the biodiesel mess. 
At least we don't have to get the squeezer. We have to get the pieces for the biodiesel. So that may happen another time. It's kind of hitting the... There it goes. I just saw this tick. It's working. Okay, they don't they don't like grass. That's all there is to it. They don't like growing on grass. I just want it to be pretty. And it don't want to be pretty. Okay. So now all the hemp stuff is growing. So this is input. Input. Okay, so we have the hemp doing its thing. Now we gotta do the next thing, which in this case will be melons. I know melons work pretty decently. I don't think they're the best, but I think you get more out of it, like, product-wise. Right. Watch the little melon grow and go pop. Guess what I gotta do again? I gotta set the outputs on all of them. So, compacting drawer for the melons. So this is gonna be insert and insert. So all these should be outputting besides the ones that don't have seeds. So now we're getting melon slices. So we're on the path to the correct thing. So we need our key to lock these. And we'll have to void them eventually as well, but that's fine. All right. So now the things we need is to make biodiesel. We have to have plant oil, which is in the squeezer, and we need ethanol, which is in the fermenter. So we need a squeezer and fermenter, and then we need the diesel generator itself. We already have one of them. We just got to bring it in here. It should be pretty fine and dandy. Let's clear some of the stuff out of my inventory. Like, we don't need dirt. We don't need hemp seeds anymore. Um, we don't need some of these items. We do need the item conduits themselves. And we do need fluid conduits. We need these things. But some of these things we don't quite need. And we need a couple of void upgrades for those other things. Those chests. Okay, so we need to grab the machine that we're not utilizing in here anymore. I actually can turn the cold cock off as well. There, they're off. Just dismantling it all together. Alright, so there's that machine. We'll have to fill that little gap in. And then we gotta make the fermenter. So we'll get this part hooked up. Plant power of doom. Alright, so we need to clear this spot so we can put the diesel generator itself there. We might actually have several. 
We'll put the diesel generator there. So we'll put one of them the machines over here. So the center is here. Somewhere about. Somewhere about that. Uh, so let's build this squeezer again. I'm so excited. Alright. So. Pause. So we need to first um, put the stuff up here so we can have the things we need on my hot bar. So front and center we need the fluid pipes. So we'll keep put it here and next to it on the all around it here is these and then behind it here as well. This is the redstone thing. These are these. These are the wooden barrels. The piston goes here. These go here. And I have to have a hammer to turn this piston the right way. And then it should be here. Gotta smack it. Okay, so this thing's alive. Again. In its correct home. Forever now. Now one of these is input. And one of these is output. We know the fluid comes out this way. Um, but we need to get the output. Which, I don't know which one's the input. Input typically is... Okay, the input's blue. Apparently. So we need item-wise. The and the squeezer is... So we're making biodiesel and it is making the seeds so we need to get the seeds out of here um, so we need to just go ahead and get it like this because why not Uh oh. The problem is, is I cannot. See, I can't dig through here to hit the pipe correctly. Okay, so that's not how it's going to be extracted then. So we'll just have it extract from here as well. Always. But it works. And this should be inserting. And so it should be getting... Oh, it's getting it's getting fiber. I need a filter. Should have known that was going to happen. Should have known. So we need a filter. Basic filter. We need two of them. And we need to go ahead and get the things for the fermenter as well. Okay, so we need six steel scaffolding. It makes six, so I'll just craft a new six. I still love ya. Don't need coke dust in my inventory. Apparently I muted myself. Um, I don't know how long I've been muted. But working on the fermenter here. Might have been when I coughed. I maybe muted myself. I'm not sure. Two fluid pipes. I've been muted a while. Sorry about that. Apparently I'm... I hit it by accident, possibly. It's on my mouth. Happy hotkey. Uh, one redstone engineering block. We're getting close to having this. And then we need two light engineering blocks. Mm. 
Mm, we need pieces. Two light ones. I know we need a cauldron. And the last piece was... Oh, we need four cauldrons. Four iron sheet metal. Four of them. Okay. So that's the fermenter. And now we need the diesel generator. Okay. So we need sticks, steel, scaffolding. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to all that I wanted to do today. But hey, we've got a lot of stuff done. Uh, five fluid pipes. Oh, we're short like one. And the next one is one redstone engineering block. Okay, and then we need 13 heavy engineering blocks. Thirteen of these things. Two, four, six. There we go. So that's 13 heavy. Uh, four generator. Oh, we need a kinetic dynamo for that. Ooh. We need those coil blocks. Let's just craft it like. We don't need that many. We need maybe like 10 at most. So now we need radiator blocks, I think, it as well. How many is that we need? Non radiator, four generator. Four, six, eight. Let's put some water buckets in here. One more. Okay, so we're after generator blocks. Oh, I got the hiccups today. I really only need two craftings. Alright, so there's my diesel generator, there's my fermenter. So we're very close. We also want to get another flux point. And this is going to be, um, I mean, flux plug we want. This is going to be for the generator itself. And yeah, we want to see how much it does by itself. I don't think it'll be too grand, all considering, but that's fine. Okay, so first things first, we have to make the fermenter. Alright, so. From the front, we have to have this block, these, these blocks here. Alright, from the front we have the, uh, we need to gap it away from the wall, one. Uh, this one was here, and it's the fluid pipes were here, I remember. Um, and then it looks like all the sheet metal goes around. Um, why do we have an extra sheet metal? I 
that's right, though. And then four of these. And we should be able to hammer time it. Oops. Apparently that's an extra one. Okay, pipe, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 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 I see. I put this here. I see. Something's wrong. I was like, something is wrong here. Sure enough, something was wrong. This goes here. That goes there. Now it should click into existence. As soon as I find out where to click. I don't know where to click. Okay. Hmm. Right click on the central cauldron from the engineering block size. There's two engineering block sides. There's this one. Okay, so bottom level. It's an engineering block. Okay. And the fluid pipes in the center. Got you. Uh, oh, 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 I see, I see what's wrong. I see, I see, I see. I got these in the wrong spot. Got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Where's the other cauldron? That's what's not wrong. Okay, so now it should work. Okay, so there is the other monster. So that's fluid output. Fluid output's here on this one. Okay, so we need to build the biodiesel generator. Renewal power. I didn't bring a point for this guy. I do have I, I do have energy conduits? No, I don't. Gosh darn it. Let's go ahead and build the diesel generator. So diesel generator. So we're gonna pause it. First level. Okay. So on the front. We need the radiator blocks go in the back. Correct. Okay, all these. Go in the back. Okay. Apparently we've got an extra one. That's fine. And then we have fluid pipes for three in the center. So one, two, three, and then two here. That's pretty good. And then a generator block here. And I think the other ones did this. And then we got on this side, we need to go over here just so we see where we're going. Uh, the scaffolding goes here. Alright. Pretty fantastic. And next level is all the heavies and the redstone block. So that goes there. And I'm guessing the rest of them is heavy. Engineering blocks. And it was like a plus sign on top. that correct? Yes. Alright. So we have the big monster that is the diesel generator. Pretty fantastic. So now we need to go ahead and hook up the fluid. So this will be insert. And this will be extract. Same thing here. We intentionally haven't turned them on yet. But there's that. So there's the diesel generator. And then we have to get items. And we need to filter them. Because we don't need hemp in here. We need hemp seeds. That's what we need. We need an item filter. 
to allow only seeds. I thought I brought a void upgrade. There, I did. Okay. I really technically didn't, but I did at the same time. Alright. And now we need... How many more do I need? Four? We need one of these, so we can go in here and filter in the items here. Melon slices. So now the fermenter is getting it, and now we need power for it. And then we'll be done with the plant power. As I drop down at 6 FPS. And we have the whole issue with the power deconnectivity, because I was in there way too long. All I have to do is switch from what thing I'm working on. Alright, so we need conduit. Oh, no, no, we need a flux thing. Flux point. Okay, so that's for the diesel generator. We don't need these or these or these or these or this, 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 this anymore. We're very close to being done with the flat power. Alright, so we have the flux plug, and we have the flux point. To put power into here, we need to put it here, and it's taking from thermo. Okay, so this thing's working. So it's making ethanol. This is making plano. In fact, it's full. And so it always should extract. Oh wait, I forgot to mix I forgot to mix it, didn't I? So that doesn't actually go in there. Let's see, I need biodiesel. Here I thought I was almost done and I forgot. It's a refinery I need to make. So I still got one more machine. I forgot about the refinery. Hmm. So let's go make the refinery. We're close. All right, for the refinery. Oh, it's my system's off again. Okay, we need eight steel scaffolding. So there's six, seven, eight. And then we need five fluid pipes. Got it. And then we need one redstone engineering block. And then we need two light, two heavy. And then we need heavy. Alright, and then we need 16 iron sheet metal. So we need 16 of this. So we need 4 crafting's worth. Okay. And we need our fluid conduits again. And 
we need another flux thing. Okay. This is all for plant power. Alright, so we're going to build the refinery, I'm guessing, on the wall above it. Oops. I guess we'll probably continue. It's doing the flickering thing again. I don't. I mean, it might keep c kicking people. I'm not sure. Drop frames 173. We've dropped a lot of frames. Uh, I can't help that though. Let's get that out of my hotbar. Um, I don't know why my is being so spotty today. All right. So. All right. Cool. Bottom level. We're going to build it above, I'm guessing, because I don't think it's going to fit in the corner. No, we're going to build it above. We're going to build it right here, I guess. And it can pipe down. So, I need my book. I need my book, and I need all these items. And to start with, we need sheet metal, and the lights are on the back. So we'll do light engineering, light engineering, and the sheet metals. And fluid pipes in the center. Sheet metal. And the heavies. Oh! It didn't even dawn on me that that was going to do that. Okay, book wise, this thing goes here, and then obviously we're gonna build some lovely tanks on each side. Okay, so this thing is alive now, and we need to power it. Oh, no, 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 wrong thing. That's the plug. That's for the diesel. Borrowing off thermo to finish this thing. And now we'll take... This is... This fluid, okay. So we have one output here. I'm going to bring it over on both sides. And we want to make it as neat as possible. That's an input. input. Insert only, so it's full of plant oil. Same thing here. Of course I missed one. So now it should be full of ethanol. And it's making, or it should make diesel. Okay. 
biodiesel. Alright, biodiesel is plant oil, ethanol to biodiesel. Nothing else about it. And it needs an extract. It's not making any yet. I think it's making. It doesn't look it's making anything yet. Oh, there it goes. Biodiesel achieved. So now if I do this, this thing should be re receiving biodiesel. It's not running them. It has nowhere for the power to go. So we need to create plant power. Okay. So I need a flux point. Plant power. It's not getting any power, it's not working. weird. I may have to fiddle with it offline. But it's all hooked up. The madness is alive. I might just need a lot. It's full of biodiesel. It's not extracting or something. And it should be inserting here. And or here. That's bizarre. Let's look at a tank. And see if it's functional now. If I do that. So, tank. Not the kind of tank I wanted. I want the open blocks one. Okay. Alright. So, does it work? It's actually popping out the biodiesel now. And if I extract the fluid here, there's a go between. That's kind of bizarre. Maybe it's something in it. Maybe I need to break that. And 
and that. Okay. Troubleshooting with immersive engineering. So the diesel generator is messed up for some reason. Oh wait. No, nope, it sets off. So let's extract from here. I have to go get more fluid pipes. Yeah. Need more fluid pipes. Okay. So it says gra craft. not working. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see if this what gets this to work, so we'll continue this madness and trying to get this thing to work tomorrow. Um, because it took some fuel, but it didn't run. Which is bizarre. Let's just try to input it on one side, maybe? Let's try the whole braking technique again. That's weird. It's just taking it. But it's not producing any power. It's weird. I don't get it. Here, I'll have to look on it and see. 
uh, why it's not working, and we'll check back in on it tomorrow uh, when it should be running, and then we'll do something else. Maybe do the start of Batania, do some basic stuff in Batania, and move on to something else. Maybe, as I said, do some quests and stuff along the line of questing. Um, but I'm gonna leave it here. We have done a lot today. It's been like almost three hours now, I think. Two and a half, 245, it says. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it here, and we'll come back tomorrow with the idea that I'll figure out why that's not working. And we'll come back tomorrow with the idea that we have all the plants. Let's see how much of the stuff we actually have now. Are they full? Something's gumped it up. So yeah, I had to do a lot of maintenance. It's like I have a lot of maintenance stuff to do. Trying to figure out why something's broken. Trying to figure out what's gumping this up. Probably some saplings. Some saplings gumped it up. Some leaves gumped it up. Um, there's just some stuff gumping this up. So yeah, I've got to do some uh, maintenance stuff. Um, to clear all that madness. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here and I will come back tomorrow. I'll get that whole mess right there fixed. Um, that way everything functions again to normal, a normal circumstance. Which right now it's not functioning um, at, at all. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, a fun blast. Yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed me monotonies trying to figure out what the crap's going on with the diesel generator for the past little bit. But, yeah, I need to take a break, rest my fingers and eyes and stuff. I've been up a little bit long today. But, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow around the same time I started today. Around... I don't know, about 7.30, actually. So it won't be quite as long tomorrow. Maybe like an hour tomorrow. But yeah, that's all I have. And I will see you then. And I'll get that diesel generator fixed uh, fixed and working and stuff. See what's going on. But yeah, that's all I have. Bye.